Hello students, welcome back to my class. And we are doing Shashi Deshpande's short story, My Beloved Charioteer. Shashi Deshpande is a renowned Indian short story writer. She is the recipient of Sahitya Academy Award for her novel, That Long Silence, in 1990. And she is also a recipient of Padma Shuri Award in 2009. She is a bold writer. And the stories show frankness and boldness not found so far in Indo-English short fiction. Her women, her women characters tend to be the architects of their own fate. Her stories are authentic, poignant tales of middle class educated women and their exploitation in a conventional male dominated society. Her short stories are more or less a fictionalization of personal experiences. Most of the novels present a typical middle class housewife's life. Deshpande's main concern is the urge to find oneself, to create a space for oneself, to grow on one's own. Many of her characters are persons who are frustrated either emotionally or professionally. Shashidesh Pandey's short story, My Beloved Charitya, describes how three generations of a family live together with different mindsets. The story also reveals the hardships faced by widows in a male-dominated society. Aji's daughter, Aji is a grandmother, who is the narrator of the story. Aji's daughter, Preeti, is in deep depression after the death of her husband, Madhav. They had a very good relationship. That was a very loving couple. She loved, she means Aarti, loved two persons the most in life, her father and her husband. As both of them have died, she is in utter grief. Aarti is unable to return to normalcy. She neither talks to her mother nor her daughter, Preeti. All day, she either sleeps or smokes or gazes at the blank walls. And she doesn't even bother about her looks or dressing up. She confines herself to the four walls of the house. Aji, the narrator of the story, feels hurt that Aarti finds comfort from a dead father and not from a living mother.
who is also a widow. Aji wants Aarti to lead a responsible life with her daughter and to look after her needs. Aarti is so lost in her own grief that she neglects the needs of her daughter. The old mother wants to share the sufferings and sorrows of her daughter, but she cannot. She feels as if the door to her conversation or communication is lost. The incident of breaking of her late father's photo provides an opportunity to her. Aarti always loved her father more than her mother, but now the mother introduces Aarti to her father's latent traits of character and shows her how she was emotionally tortured and physically exploited in a loveless, perfunctory marriage. Now, there is a, a quotation from the book. At night, I scarcely dared to breathe. I was so terrified of disturbing him. And once, when I asked whether I could sleep in another room, he said nothing. But the next day, his mother, that is your grandmother, told me bluntly about a wife's duties. I must always be available. Now here, there is a description of the patriarchal norms and the duties of a wife that she has to be available all the time whenever her husband needs her and and the husband always said uh, what he wanted and he never bothered about the wishes and the desires of the wife and the mother discloses her husband's oppression she had experienced all her life which opens her daughter's eyes to the real character of her father this results in the reconciliation of the daughter with her mother at the end the mother is happy that she could break the ice and make her daughter look at her she is satisfied that she opened the locked door of communication with aarti and aarti also comes to know that her mother is a victim of gender based oppression and patriarchal socialization finally the mother is successful in bringing her daughter to this living world again in this story desh pande etches the dark picture of an incompatible married life that is more a rule than an exception the point of interest in the story is that despite the sexual and emotional oppression for 25 years the mother is not broken like her daughter aarti who neglects a child and herself after widowhood the mother constantly remains constructive and overcomes the destructive forces of society so in this story we come to know that the old generation or the women they have the capacity to tolerate everything and not break down